Minnesota 619, and time now for What's Trending. Two animals ran free at a California zoo over the weekend, but they don't actually live in the zoo. According to zoo officials, two dogs got loose inside the San Diego Zoo of Safari Park Sunday, and one of the dogs jumped into the facility's gorilla habitat. Wildlife care specialists moved the two gorillas out of the area so workers could get the dog, and the gorillas followed orders to leave the area. The zoo says that recall training is part of their safety procedure protocol. The zoo says the dogs were safely rescued and no one was injured. No word on where the dogs came from or if their owner was at the zoo. The dogs are not microchipped and they are currently at the Humane Society on a stray hold. And it's not clear how the dogs got into the gorilla enclosure, but apparently he's been spotted in the area before hanging out with a few buddies near the back of the park's property. And no animals or people were injured in the whole process. And uh, definitely a very scary uh, video to watch. I was uh, watching it early this morning and it definitely gave me a lot of anxiety just watching that. Yeah, I mean, I, I got to see it real quick though and definitely very impressive to really just see that see that though and uh, I mean you saw the girls going after the dog and I think we I think dogs are usually pretty good and uh, running rather quickly so uh, thankfully yeah. though those girls are really good at listening to their caretakers yes so, that's a uh, very good situation we didn't have another uh, Harambe incident from oh, yeah, 2017 right. or 2018 or somewhere in there something like that yeah. so you, don't, you don't want that at all not thankfully, at all thankfully so. though those gorillas were uh, they, uh, they were able to, they obeyed orders, and yes. that's a good thing, though. So, uh, meanwhile, though, a time capsule in Connecticut is recovering after spending a quarter of a century in the ground. Those time capsules known for lasting a while, right? And former Dolan Middle School teacher Mike Rinaldi's uh, seventh grade class buried the portal in 1997. The students placed letters, mementos, and other items to record the moment in time. And the group then picked Wednesday, June 8, 2022, as a planned dig up date. But Rinaldi and some of his former students weren't able to find it that day. The determined teacher came back Saturday and eventually struck gold. Rinaldi says he's not going to open the capsule until his former students can be there too. So. There you go. I mean, I guess try and try again is probably the best way to describe it, right? Yeah, but uh, 1997, I was a year old at that time. Um, now, what do you remember from that time? Like, what would you put in there? Because, like, I, re I was thinking about this yesterday. So, like, floppy disks. Did your parents ever have a floppy disk camera? Oh, yeah. Camera? We, we used the floppy disks. Yep. And, uh, obviously, th that's when they had the big tower computers. I mean, we still use those here in the Weather Center, too, for yeah. all of our stuff in here at the station. Or so, TVs with the back on yeah, it as well. Oh, oh, yeah. I actually saw an analog TV from back <laughs> in the 2000s, too. But not those big boxes. I mean, that's kind of my picture for the 90s. This was a bigger box TV. So, yeah. as some people still have. I still have an analog TV in my apartment that still works. But, mm -hmm. uh... Yeah, I mean, it's amazing to think. I mean, obviously... It still works, though, maybe, after maybe, this time. Yeah, right? They do last a while. Game Boy Color, was that out by that point yet? Uh, I don't remember that one. No, I, uh, I don't know. I, I was a year old, remember this I, I remember time. Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, the Advance SP. Yes, I had that one. And I finished the Nintendo DS before, obviously, I kind of outgrew the playing a lot of those games, though, <laughs> and obviously technology changed by a lot by that point, too. Yeah, I know my family has always been one to keep things a little... Old. For longer time than they should be, but you know, it still worked. We had a fridge from like the 80s, and I, when I was 21, I moved out, and we still had that fridge right. going. It was Any, still going strong. Anything, anything that's from years ago seems to last a lot longer than the stuff that we have today. Yeah, for sure. Well, going back in further time, on this date back in 1775, the U.S. Army was formed. The Army birthday was formed from amateur troops of volunteer soldiers defending the colonies against the British during the Revolutionary War. The Army is the oldest military force in the United States. Today, the U.S. Army consists of more than one million active duty service members and an additional 800,000 National Guard and Reserve members. In some ways that you can observe the Army's birthday include buying a veteran a meal or drink, share memories of your military service, donate to your favorite veterans organization, or you can volunteer your time with a veterans organization. Those are just some of the ways to celebrate the day and definitely very cool. I know uh, we definitely, we have Conrad here we in the Conrad reserve, so today. thank you to him and yeah, his Thank you to Conrad, uh, he's in the reserves. Actually, I know a few others, but um, many but yeah, just, a, uh, I, there's too many, to th there's so many out there to thank, to thank, and uh, yeah, but thank you again for 
all your service out there. Really cool day, though. For sure. And I mentioned Conrad. Obviously, we also about today's him Flag Day as well. Is too. it Flag Day? Yeah, today's Flag oh, Day, June 14th. Should have put that in a seven day. Oh yeah. well. <laughs> but yeah, lots of holidays today. Young. Yeah. Yeah. Conrad does obviously has his service right now. I think he's all he and many other Army Reserves are on a two week uh, drill exercise right now. So and mm -hmm. even even those those drill exercises they go through a lot. So, they do. Uh, definitely. We definitely really appreciate good their service. And I'm like. I could, I could never do it. So yeah, I, it so takes props. a special person. It's really cool. Thank you to everything. 